In this video, you're going to learn how to evaluate trigonometric functions when you're given the value of a trigonometric function. You oftentimes come in contact with these problems in like a pre-calculus class after you work with the unit circle. And so let's dive in. So the first thing you want to kind of refresh on are the even and odd uh, identities. And what you want to understand is that when you take the sine of a negative angle, you're going to get the same value as the sine of the positive angle, but it's going to be multiplied by negative 1. So we call this an odd function. Now one way to kind of understand this is go to your unit circle. Look at 30 degrees. Okay, You know the coordinates on the unit circle at 30 degrees are what? Square root 3 over 2 comma 1 half. So that's a positive angle. Now if you go clockwise, that's a negative angle, right? negative theta. This point here, it's also going to be root 3 over 2, 1 half, but notice the y value is negative, see, negative 1 half. So what that tells you, if you're going positive angle, sine is a half. If you go negative angle, it's negative a half. So what you're saying is, oh, if I take the sine of negative of the angle, I'm going to get the same answer, but it's going to be the opposite sine, okay? Same thing with cosecant. Cosecant is just the reciprocal of sine. So cosecant of negative t is the same as the cosecant of the angle, just multiplied by negative 1. Same thing for tangent. Now remember, tangent is the y over the x. So if I take y over x, I'm going to get 1 half over root 3 over 2. If I take the tangent of the same angle but a negative, a negative angle going clockwise, I'm going to get negative 1 half divided by square root 3 over 2. Same number, but it's going to be the opposite sign. Same thing with cotangent. It's just the reciprocal of tangent. Now cosine and secant are what we call even functions. What that means is that if you take cosine of a negative angle, let's say for example cosine of negative 30, you get square root 3 over 2. If you take the cosine of a positive angle, uh, cosine of positive 30, you're also going to get root 3 over 2. You're going to get the same answer. It's not going to be the opposite like with these odd functions. Same thing with secant. Secant of the negative angle is going to be the same as the secant of the positive angle. Those are even functions. So now we're going to apply that, but we're also going to work with some more challenging problems as well. So let's dive in. Like the first example, we've got sine of t is equal to 2 thirds. Now we don't know what the angle is. We don't know if it's 30 or 45 or 27.5 degrees. We have no idea. But we do know that sine of negative of that angle, it's going to be the same answer, but it's going to be multiplied by negative 1. So this is going to be negative 2 thirds. Cosecant of negative t is the reciprocal of sine of negative t. So if I just flip that over, I'm going to get negative 3 halves. Okay, let's go to number 2 now. Cosine of negative t is equal to negative 3 fourths. What do you think cosine of positive t is equal to? Same thing, negative 3 fourths. Okay. It's not the opposite. Remember, cosine is an even function. You get the same answer. Secant of the angle, okay, is going to be the reciprocal of cosine of that angle. So we're just going to flip this over, negative 4 thirds. Okay, now for number 3, a little bit more challenging. Sine of t is equal to 5 sevenths. What's the sine of pi plus t? Okay, what does that mean, pi plus t? Well, imagine if I was to go pi, that's 180 degrees, plus whatever the angle is. Okay, so like over here, I'm doing kind of like pi plus theta. Okay, so you can see these triangles are congruent to one another. But what's happening is this point over here now is what? It's like negative root 3 over 2, negative 1 half. Okay, so what's happening here is, okay, the sine is positive, right? It's 5 sevenths. But now I'm over here in the third quadrant. It's going to have the same y component, but see, it's negative. So this is going to be negative 5 sevenths sine of pi minus t. Now pi is like 180, so you're going 180. Minus t means we're going clockwise, whatever that angle is. So in this diagram here, I'm doing pi minus theta. So I'm going past and then going back theta, right? That's going to put us right here. Now you can see these two triangles are congruent to one another. This y component is the same as this y component. See, same thing here. So sine of pi minus t is going to be the same as sine of this original angle, 5 sevenths. So you can kind of use like these angles, 30, 150, 210, and 330 to help, to help you with these problems. Now for number four, sine of negative t is one-third. What's the sine of positive of that same angle? Well, remember sine is odd. It's going to be an opposite, so it'll be negative one-third. Cosecant of t, that's going to be the reciprocal of sine of t. Just flip that over. That's going to be negative three. 
Uh, cosine of t is negative 4 ninths. What's the cosine of negative t? Well, again, remember, cosine is an even function, so the cosine of negative that same angle, it's going to be the same thing, negative 4 ninths. And what's the secant of negative t? That's just the reciprocal of cosine of negative t, so just flip that over, so that would be negative 9 fourths. And the last one, another challenging one, we've got cosine of t equals 3 eighths. Remember, cosine is like the uh, the x component here in this unit circle, okay, in that triangle. Uh, now we're doing cosine of pi plus t, so pi plus the angle. Okay, now notice these triangles are congruent to each other. It's just that, see here, the x is positive, we're going to the right. Now in this triangle, see the x component is negative, we're going to the left. So it's going to have the same value because these triangles are congruent, but it's going to be the opposite sign, negative 3 eighths. How about a cosine pi minus t? Pi again is 180, minus t, we're kind of going clockwise, whatever this angle is. Again, these two triangles are congruent, but see here, cosine is the x component, that's positive. Same length, but you're going in the opposite direction. So this is also going to be the opposite of 3 eighths, which is negative 3 eighths. So great job if you're able to follow these six examples. I'll see you in my other videos.